Hello everybody, and today I want to share with you my book buying horror story. Now, I don't really have a problem with lending out books as long as they're taken care of and they are returned to me. I mean, I don't really care if it's maybe two or three months down the road, but give me back the dang book. My copies of Eclipse and Mockingjay I never got them back. I eventually had to rebuy the books. My first edition copy of Eclipse, I lent to a friend from school to read, and there she just kept putting off reading it and putting off reading it, and eventually the end of the school year came, and by then it's just like we didn't really see each other much at all, so long story short, I never got the book back. So I bought it in softback version because it was cheaper at the time, and that was before I had a job. But then I went on vacation, saw this for $2, so I bought it in hardback because I prefer hardbacks over softbacks because I don't like bent spines and if, and if you drop the books, there's less likely to damage it. And I, I just love the way hardbacks feel. So I've bought two copies of this book since my friends failed to give me back my book. I really enjoy reading, so I love it when someone wants to say, read one of the books I've read and really enjoyed. So if I know the person is going to read the book, I do not mind lending them the book, which was the case for Eclipse and Mockingjay. And my Mockingjay copy was even worse than my Eclipse copy. This book I actually lent to my sister-in-law. And she had read um, The Hunger Games and Catching Fire, and she read them so fast. I'm not sure. She goes to the library all the time, so I'm not sure why she just didn't get this book to the library. Maybe because she didn't want a time restriction. I don't know. It was a long time ago. My copy of Mockingjay, it's, it's, it's really, 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 really sad. I lent it to her, and she literally lives next door. And she just never read the book, and then she just... Because she said she couldn't get into it, which I understand. This book, it took me two days to read. It, I didn't like it. But anyways, the point is, she never gave the book back. I eventually went to have price books and found a hardback copy and rebought the book. I mean, I may not like the book, but I didn't like the fact that I didn't have a copy of it on my shelf. And I still haven't got that book back. I think it's been like two years at least now. I mean, I already have another copy of the book but the point is it's my book and I want it back but those two stories are very tame compared to my actual book borrowing horror story and once you see the book I'm gonna show you you will understand why it's a horror story the book is Ice Blue by Anne Stewart and it's one of my favorite adult books and I, it was returned to me like this. The cover is, the cover is literally torn and bent in several places. It's been ripped in half and taped together. And there are several pages in here where a little kid or my friend colored on it with crayon and I, I can't find it at the moment, but there's several pages like that. My point is, I gave this to her brand new. I had just finished reading the book and I let her borrow it to read it. And she was one of my good friends. So, and I'm hoping she's not watching this because I did, I, okay, I've somewhat forgiven her for this. It still inks me and I will never let her borrow a book again. But this is what makes me never want to let anyone borrow a book again and I hate that because I want people to read the books that I enjoy but this is just unacceptable a book should never come back to its owner looking like this and considering this is one of my favorite books I just want to scream I think what irritated me most about when she returned when she returned this book in this condition she told me that her little cousins or brothers or sisters or some little kids got a hold of this book in her house and this is what happened. 
I mean, coloring in the pages, ripping it in two, bending the cover. All I could think while well, she was telling me this, well, really, I, w I was stunned. I couldn't say anything, but I was thinking, why would you leave a book, especially a book that is not yours, lay around somewhere when you know little kids are in the house and they love to color and rip and tear on things? I, no. I can't even remember if she taped this together or I taped it together anymore. But I, I just can't get over it. I mean, this is what, this is literally the um, straw that broke the book's spine. I haven't let anyone borrow a book since, and I do not plan to. Because this is just uncalled for to have a book that you love and paid so much money for come back in this condition. I mean, I have a lot of books and I've put a lot of time and money into these books. I do not lend people books to get them back in this condition if I get them back at all. So I no longer lend out books. Well, that was my book borrowing horror story. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a book borrowing horror story. I know I cannot be the only one that gets their books back in such horrible condition. Until next time, guys. Bye.